And hello everyone, my name is Jungyeon Kim. I'm a master degree student at KAIST. A picture is worth a thousand. This idiom is part of our title. We thought this is perfect repeat for the work, what you've done. And our specific goal is improving mobile messaging communication with real-time autonomous image suggestion. And this work is collaborated with my advisor, Sung Ju Lee, at KAIST. And Oxford Dictionary is the world's most famous dictionary. Every year, Oxford Dictionary selects the word that represents what happens and most powerful words of the year. Do you know the word of last year, the word of the 2050? And surprisingly, it's not a word. It's an emoji, it's an emoticons. I think this means a lot of conversation we made today it's not exactly exp explainable using just plain text. So we get uh, help, we get lots of help from uh, different types of image when we are communicating with other persons. And we have a live, live world examples for that. Actually one of our co-author, Xiao Wei, is from France. He was an exchange student at KAIST. Uh, when I talk with Xiao Wei uh, about some food, he was trying to explain fondue. Actually, fondue is not a really common food and words in Korea. And using just a plain text, he was trying to explain to me. Actually, I, I'm not really understand what is, what is it. But he goes to the web and search for the, search for the image like fondue and send the image via sharing applications. And we thought an image has a powerful effect for communication, but this process, an image getting from the web, this process is really uncomfortable, and we thought this is gonna be really useful. Image auto-suggestion in mobile sharing app. As a, there was a similar feature, keyword auto-suggestion from iOS and Android, um, and they have a functionality. And when you type some keywords, it automatically suggests some key next candidate keyword. And why don't we design a service like this for images? And when we type some word, get some pictures from the web, and that is currently related to our current context. And that's why we just developed our initial, initial version of the system. We call it it's a millicat. It's, this term is millions of chatting, and in France. And I will, show, I will show you what's going on in our system, and let's look. And it's just a simple chatting application. When you type some keyword, it automatically suggests an image from uh, searching from the web. And, and it, it, so it gives us a chance for selecting an image. Actually, bibimbap is uh, one of the famous Korean food. And maybe you guys might not know what is bibimbap, but when, if I select a picture of bibimbap, it's easy to explain. And also, Happy New Year. Actually, it's just, uh, it's rather than just a plain text I, for deliver a nuance. And if you tap the picture, you can get a larger image for that. And how was it? Actually, we are thought about this is really cool ideas, but uh, sharing applications uses is really different, uh, depends on culture and age. And that's why we did a survey for this idea is really useful or not. And we did a survey. There are 253 users and 10 different professions and 12 different nationality. We saw this population is quite uh, fairly distributed. And we asked uh, 10 questions about uh, chatting image usage in mobile chat application to get some clues about proceeding our, uh, progressing our work. And we want to know this idea is really useful or not. And there is a simple question, would you find image auto-suggestion useful? And 82% say yes, it's gonna be useful. 
And the other hand, 18% uh, people say it's not going to be useful, but kindly they left some comment about why it's not going to be useful. And first thing is wrong image suggestion. If the suggest image is not going to be uh, works, works, works in current context, maybe it's just disturb of sharing context. And they are concerning about data and energy waste. As you see the last uh, last version of Millicate is uh, just is a suggestion images when we typed. Maybe it's gonna be it's gonna exhaust your data and energy in mobile environment. And last thing is about uh, latency. If it takes more than a few more than 10 seconds, it's rather to go to the web and select the image or themselves. And from the survey result and experience from our research, we figured out there are four main challenges. Actually, you, it, it might seem to make easy, but we thought it's really difficult to make as a commercial scale. And I'll explain briefly about that. And first, challenge is timeliness. Image should be suggested when users intend to use suggested image. It means not just about timing. We have to catch the moment. Is image is useful for current context or not? If if we couldn't, if we fail to look, fail to get a moment, it's just a, it could just a waste of data and energy. And second is appropriateness. And suggested image should match the current context. It's really uh, important things for that. And latency and resource efficiency. You guys thought it's a, a traditional problem, but always important problem for mobile communication, a mobile environment. And I will focus on the first two problems, timeliness and appropriateness. If you are interested in latency and resource efficiency, there are some uh, experimental results in our paper. And there are a phrase, we saw her dog. This phrase could be means there is a dog belong to her and put our eyes to the dog, literally. And depends on context and situation, it could translate it to another meanings. We saw her dog, it means we caught her dog as a pieces. And this problem it makes them, is cause appropriate problem and you realize that we have to aware the current context. Actually, the word Amazons in VR or computer science guys, and we might thought Amazon.com, but for ordinary person, they might thought Amazon forest. And from uh, Greece mythology, there is a Amazonist, it means a ancient woman warrior. And these three pictures are, has a totally different meaning. We have to distinguish the current context and match it uh, uh, this kind of the, among the, these images. And next, the appropriate problem again. And we have to consider the types of word. It means <coughs> there are words of cake. And let's imagine about the, what's the image of the cake. Probably your imagina imagination is not really different with these current pictures. But words of Catholic. Which image is useful for explaining Catholic? Could be a Pope or a Holy Cross or a picture of Maria. Actually, cakes is uh, in category about concrete noun and Catholics in categories on abstract noun. We have uh, we found the difficulty for uh, su suggesting an image for abstract noun like Catholic. And the other problem is, problem is emotions. Actually, difficult to distinguish the emotion uh, from our current state of art in natural language processing. And only just to distinguish positive and negative is difficult. And emoticon is the most widely used I image in current chat application. Actually, it's really useful to solve this problem. But just distinguish the happy, surprise, anger, sad, 
sarcasm, sarcasm scared is really difficult problems. And the other problem is timeless problem. Interesting is this problem is related with uh, relationship with your chat partner. We found this from our survey lizard. And 60% of users are saying, I'm not going to use image actively when I'm talking with my friend in mobile chat. But just 8%, they are actively use image with their boss and with their senior. Image, we should, uh, relationship, we should, uh, we have the, Millicat should have a functionality to distinguish the relationship with you and with your chat partners. And these are problems for appropriateness and timeliness. And I will show brief. So the architecture of current Millicat, actually uh, left part is mobile device. And we are not going to make call just chatting app. It's uh, actually there are also nice chatting app in commercials. We are just serving our service as a library, just API. Maybe it's really happy to uh, current commercial chatting company use, if, if they use our service, it's uh, really honorable for us. And mobile device, and there is a chatting app, it's just uh, make some a API calls to request an image. When they request the image, there was some filter and keyword extractor in mobile device. And also for latency and resource efficiency, we need a local cache. And in it's a millicat servers, it just it this thing is does a functionality about sentiment analysis to solving a appropriateness and timeless problem. And it also has a image cache from the image providers. Currently, we are using a, a image API from Bing and Flickr and Yahoo like. There. And in our paper, actually, this uh, one of bottleneck is that image from the this provider. This image cases works uh, makes the uh, low latency. And there are too many lizards, but I will talk about uh, data consumption about our millicast. And I'm going to show um, graph and Lex. And X axis shows the total reception packet. Y-axis is an image request method. I will explain briefly a detail about that. And first method is a per click method. As you see before the, our video, that method was a per click. It means image request for every user's input. And when you type a C and just request for image about C and CA and about CA, CAT is about to request Cat. And next is uh, per word. It, it means the request image, uh, the unit, the uh, base unit is a uh, word. Is uh, half of the per clicks, the total reception packets. And third is uh, per word and filters. Filters means no request for conjunction, pronoun, and preposition. It means no request for the what like that, like this kind of word. It also could reduce the uh, reception packets. And the other is dictionary. We made a dictionary uh, from, uh, we made dictionary and uh, put the Eng every English word and every English chat abbreviation and slangs and chat and idioms like that. And it's request of only for words that exist in dictionary. And last thing is, uh, we put everything, dictionary, filter, and per word. And compared to per clicks is uh, reduce the data consumption and dramatically. This graph shows that uh, if we make some appropriate filters and timeless problems, and data consumption is not really a problem for our, our service. And next is uh, conclusion. And we think image auto suggestion in mobile chat is a really great idea for better communication, but it's, there are many difficulties to resolve our problems. I said uh, timeliness, appropriateness, and latency and resource efficiency. 
And we are not making a chatting app. We just our service as an API and library for the chatting company. And our ongoing work is we are trying to apply NLP techniques and library from the NLP research area and, and solve the appropriate and timeless problem. And we are still to improving image loading time and try to minimize resource usage. And thank you for listening and feel free to any question. Thank you.